The question for today is uh, does Apple Watch Maps work without iPhone and I'm going to show you exactly how it does work because right now you can see that if I swipe up on my Apple Watch here is uh, the green rectangle which indicates that my iPhone which is uh, paired to this Apple Watch is actually nearby. But let's say that I'm going to turn off my iPhone, which is paired to this Apple Watch completely. So I'm going to hold down on the power button and I'm going to slide to turn it off. You can see that it's going to be disabled. It's going to turn off and everything. And right now we need to wait because on the Apple Watch sooner or later, this green rectangle is going to turn into a red one which indicates that uh, the iPhone is no longer in range. You can see like this, the iPhone disappeared and uh, the Wi-Fi logo appeared. So again, if you have this enabled red iPhone with the strike through icon is going to appear, indicating that you no longer have uh, the connection to iPhone. So right now you are without the iPhone and the Apple Watch is on its own. And to use uh, the maps, we of course need to have an internet connection. So this is the cellular Apple Watch, you know it because of the red ring. So that means that this watch can have internet access even without iPhone. So right now I can enable it and with the eSIM properly installed, I'm going to have access to uh, the internet connection using the eSIM. But if not, and you are still in the range of your Wi-Fi, you can turn on Wi-Fi and it's going to connect you. You can see uh, the blue icon just turned there and now you have access to the internet using Wi-Fi. It doesn't use iPhone because it's turned off. It uses actually the Wi-Fi. So go to, going to the settings. You can find it here and see which network you are currently connected to and you can choose from different ones of course and right now we are without the iphone so we can finally open up the maps app which is of course going to have the data that it needs it can have access to location and every single thing because we are connected to wi-fi so either an iphone with an internet connection has to be paired to the apple watch uh, or it can be uh, the cellular connection on the watch or a Wi-Fi network, which is in range. So these are the three ways how the Apple Watch can get to you, to the internet and that way use maps. But let's say I'm going to search for thing in here. So let's say it's going to be LA. I'm going to search for it and hopefully it's going to find out. <laughs> yeah, so it just loaded something different, but it doesn't matter because it just shows that, that the maps are still working and we don't really need an iPhone to be around us and we can access our current location, perhaps navigate to this place, search here, transit map. I mean, it does work uh, even without the iPhone. But like I said, you need to find a way to get access to the internet and these were the three ways how you can access it. So hope this video helped you out and if you would like to know which is the best navigation app for your Apple Watch, because I thoroughly tested like the three or four best options, make sure to check out this video right here. It's it's a pretty like complex topic, so definitely check it out in here and you're going to find out which you can use for navigation on your Apple Watch.